Okay, so we have two ABG samples. One is taken immediately and we'll uh, do a ABG on this. And this is another sample which was taken some 14, 15 minutes back. And you can see there is an air bubble also in it. So we'll see the difference in both the blood gases. What is the difference between the reports? Uh, one which is immediately taken, which is the right thing. And if the sample gets remained on the desk or if there is air bubble it, how much is the difference between oxygen or potassium like that? So this is the correct ABG sample. This is the correct ABG report. You have a PO2 of 197. You have PCO2 of 33.8, pH of 7.45. You have bicarb of 23.5, potassium of 3.3 ionized calcium of 1.08 and lactate of 6. Now the other sample was there. It remained on the desk for 10 to 15 minutes and there was an air bubble on it also. So what changes we expect in that samples? So technically PO2 should be high in it because of the air bubble. Now because the sample remained for 10 to 15 minutes on the uh, desk, there should be the RBCs which were utilizing the oxygen, the PCO2 should rise, there should be a, and there should be cell lysis. So what should happen? The potassium should rise. There should be hypocalcemia because it gets utilized by the phosphate. And there should be a uh, bicarb should get low because of the development of metabolic acidosis. So these are the things which are written in the textbook, which happens. So let's see whether they are actually happening or not in this sample. So you see, because of the air bubble, PO2 is 234 in it. So correct one was, uh, let me check, keep it here. The correct one was uh, 197. The in the incorrect sample is 234. PCO2 should rise a little bit. So here is 33.8, here is 35.6. pH should drop, here is 7.45, here is 7.43. Bicarb should rise, uh, should, bicarb should low. So metabolic acidosis should develop. So bicarb is 23.5, here 23.7, it's rising. Potassium should increase, here 3.3, here is 3.4. Hypocalcemia should develop, so here, uh, Calcium is 1.08 here, 1.02. Lactate should increase because of the lactic acidosis developing. So here lactates are 6. So here lactates are 7. So that's what I wanted to show you that if you don't process the ABG sample fast enough, there can be changes in the ABG report. The longer the duration of the sample remaining on the desk, the larger will be the changes in the blood gas report. Our ABG sample was only 10, 15 minutes uh, there on the desk. So the changes were minimal, but at least they were showing you the trend in which direction the change will occur. So next time, whenever you get an ABG sample withdrawn from the patient, try to process it as fast as possible for that matter. So do read more about it. Thank you.